greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come to you today and uh, spend a few moments in the Word of God and prayer. We trust you've enjoyed this week where we reflected on the provisions of the cross and just reminded ourselves of all the wonderful things Jesus has provided for us through what he did on the cross. Now, there, there's a lot more in the scriptures, but we've just been reminding ourselves of a few things. Today, we want to remind us that Jesus provided blessing upon our lives through what he did for us on the cross. Galatians 3.13 says that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, so that the blessing of Abraham might come upon us, the Gentiles, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So what Jesus did, he took upon himself the curse of the law, took it out of the way, so that the blessing of Abraham might be put upon us, even though we are Gentiles but we become the seed of Abraham in Christ. The Bible tells us that the blessings that Jesus made available to us is in such a measure, it says, you know, thanks be to God who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms in Christ. And that's Ephesians 1 and verse 3. So it's telling us that every blessing that comes from God has now been made available to us. It's something so, uh, you know, so big that it's hard to fathom. The Apostle Paul captured it like this in Romans the eighth chapter. He said, if God did not withhold his only son, but gave him up for us, then will he not with him also freely give to us all things? In other words, Paul is saying, look, if God gave his only son, then what is he going to withhold from us? When he give us everything else. So what you and I must understand that through the cross, through the work that Jesus did for us on the cross, he just opened the door of all heavenly spiritual blessings to be made available to you and me. And that's available to us through and because of the cross. God is not withholding anything or any heavenly blessing from you. God is not the one doing that. What we must learn is to receive by faith and say, God, I thank you. It's for me. I receive it because it's, the work was completed on the cross and Jesus opened the way for every spiritual blessing to be made available to you and me. That means every blessing that comes from God is yours. It's mine. We just have to receive it by faith. What, what, what blessing is it that you need from God today, which he is the source of. Look to him and say, Father, I receive it through the cross because it's been provided for me. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that according to your word, every blessing that comes from you has been made available to us. And so, Father, I pray for everyone listening that whatever blessing it is that they need to see take place in their life, I pray it will manifest. I pray their lives will be touched and graced by it. They will experience it. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.